Hello, Paul here, and a popular style out there right now is this flat design. So you have these icons that have these long shadows, and these long shadows are actually, you know, pretty cool and it really makes your design pop, but it's still flat. Well, I want to show you how you can go with this look, but make it more flexible as well. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do that using 3D. And uh, in order to do that, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with, as you can see, right here. This is just a simple shape layer. Could be text, could be anything. But this is the thing that I want to add the long shadow to and just make it more dynamic. So with this layer selected, I'm going to open up the 3D panel and I'm going to extrude this shape. Click Create. Here it is, you can see it made it 3D and uh, look at how this layer has changed. So I can select the current view and I can rotate it around. You can see that it obviously is 3D. Uh, and I can kind of rotate it up or I can even in the properties panel, which again is very important because notice how I'm just adjusting this custom view, but I can actually view say from the top if I want to and it will adjust it accordingly or I can rotate it any way I want. But what I really want to do is I want to stand this bicycle up so it's standing straight up 90 degrees so I can rotate this around and kind of get it there but what I want to do is actually use the properties panel under coordinates I can say hey you know what let's make this 90 degrees stand straight up. And from there I can then select top view instead of a custom view. Now I have this top look. I'll just hide those lines and we can see that long shadow that's being cast. Well that's the light. So I could select the infinite light and just command H actually brings back my guides and everything. In fact we can always hide those various lines and everything as well by going to view, show. Let's turn off the 3D ground plane just like that. But now you can see I have this long shadow that I can work with. I know it's going to be 100% accurate. If they decide that, uh, you know, the shadow should actually be coming from, you know, the upper right, then I can adjust it easily. Or what if you actually had a website where the icon's shadow changed throughout the day? Well, you can do that as well. But the important thing is you have that long shadow look. And if at any point you're ready to sort of see a better rendering of it, I can and click right down here and it's going to render this particular asset. Now there is so much more that you can do with 3D but here in the case of UI design if you want more flexibility this is a great way to uh, do things. So have fun playing with 3D in Photoshop CC.